Billy Rubin. Now, Billy Rubin is broken down into many different uh, factors like conjugated, direct, unconjugated, T Billy, Delta Billy. But what we're going to talk about here is total Billy Rubin, also referred to as T Billy. Okay, this number, the normal reference range is 0.3 to 1.2 mega- milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so what is Billy Rubin? To understand Billy Rubin and why it's so important to monitor and what it does, it's really important to kind of understand just very briefly what it is. So Billy Rubin is really the byproduct of heme catabolism. What does that mean? Catabolism is really the breaking down of something into smaller particles. Okay, so heme, H-E-M-E, is really like that iron portion of hemoglobin, okay? So, and then bilirubin is then even a further breakdown. It's a byproduct of that heme catabolism, okay? So as, as heme is broken down, bilirubin is a byproduct of that. And what we have then is we have all of this bilirubin kind of in the system, and all that bilirubin comes to the liver with the help of albumin. We've talked about albumin before, how it's a transport protein. So albumin takes all of this bilirubin throughout the system, brings it to the liver where it becomes conjugated, okay? It become comes together. And then that conjugated bilirubin, through a couple other processes, is then excreted from the body through the feces, okay? So in order to get rid of this bilirubin, this byproduct of this heme catabolism, we have to have it become conjugated in the liver, then taken by the small intestine and excreted eventually through the feces. Okay, so let's discuss why is it important that we get rid of all this bilirubin. Well, hyperbilirubinemia or elevated bilirubin levels can lead to severe brain damage, okay? And there's this issue called kernicterus, which can develop in uh, when bilirubin levels are elevated for a sustained amount of time, where it can actually affect the basal ganglia and the brainstem nuclei and cause severe brain damage, brain dysfunction, okay? And so what we're really watching for a lot, and especially in newborns, is this elevated level of bilirubin for a sustained amount of time. And those levels generally, there's no like perfectly accepted level or amount of time that has to be elevated, but those levels generally are, uh, are in excess of 15 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so remember our normal upper end limit is about 1.2. And so if we have our bilirubin up above 15, 20 or so milligrams per deciliter, that can lead to this kernicterus, which is the severe brain damage. And some signs and symptoms of kernicterus are going to be like poor feeding in infants, um, deviation of the eye, seizures, and lethargy, okay? So that's why we check bilirubin very early in newborns, and then we will place them under phototherapy, uh, initiate... uh, feeding to try to get the GI system moving to try to get this bilirubin out of the system. And some of the reasons we're going to see elevated bilirubin, now remember it's conjugated in the liver. So what we're really looking for here is we're looking for liver damage. So some of the reasons that we're going to see elevated bilirubin are going to be like um, hepatic issues, things like cirrhosis, hepatitis, uh, hepatocellular damage, things like that that are going to cause damage to the liver may then increase our bilirubin. And those are really going to be the things that I want you to focus on are going to be this hepatocellular damage, uh, you know, your cirrhosis, your hepatitis, and then also anemias. Anemias can cause elevated bilirubin as well. So if we are not getting rid of all of this bilirubin, what can happen is the concentration builds up, okay? And as as it becomes more concentrated, this is when we get that yellowish pigment, okay? And this can be referred to as jaundice or icterus. So you may hear people referring to... Uh, the yellowish tinting of the eyes, of the sclera, and the skin as icterus, okay? This is also a term for jaundice. So this is all kind of a long explanation of what bilirubin is, but hopefully you understand it's really this this, this breakdown of, of heme, and then that turns into this bilirubin, and we have to get rid of it through our feces. If we don't get rid of it, we can lead to the severe brain damage. And remember, the normal level, upper end limit is about 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. Thank you for listening to our podcast today. Nursing.com is the trusted learning hub of all future nurses, your secret weapon for passing nursing school with your sanity intact. We want to invite all our listeners to visit us online and take advantage of a special promo offer. Just head over to nursing.com slash free. That's nursing.com forward slash F-R-E-E. And check out the free resources and other goodies that we have there just for our podcast listeners. Until next time. Go out and be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.